Barre in two, Brathwaite in three, then Tramel in four, watch him. Dwight Thomas in five, Robles goes in six in that green strip, three away from the camera, I'm sure, when we get the side on view. Joel Brown in seven, Porter in eight. Well away, they go, and uh, Robles third from left. Oh my word, Porter's gone down, he hasn't had a good couple of days, has he? Robles going smoothly at the moment, also looking very well as Tramel in the yellow. Tramel now being challenged by a Thomas in between them, but Robles is going to take this one by a metre. 13-14 there, plus 0.3 the win. And that's another solid run from Darren Robles. I don't think he was affected by Jeff Porter's going down. He looked to fall pretty heavily, was it at the first barrier, the uh, American? Goodness me. Daron Robles, though, no world record at this time around. It was three years ago that he stormed to that 1287. And uh, that was a bit of a shock. Cond conditions weren't ideal that night, I can tell you. But there's no doubting, though, after a very, very strong run at the weekend, 13-14 here is solid enough, Martin, I think, for him to keep building on that confidence that he'll need if he's to come up against Lu Zhang, which might well not be until Daegu, of course, uh, and uh, more likely before that up against David Oliver, I guess. Yes, he's looking rather underwhelmed, isn't he? You'd have to say that. I guess when you are of the quality that Dairon Robles is, let's just catch here Jeff Porter hitting that first barrier. just simply doesn't get the lead leg up high enough. That's pretty basic stuff, really. Flat on his stomach. But Robles... We've always associated him with being a fine technician, good sprinter, 